Well, it's time to go. Okay, so I'm back in Elland. Elland's round table bonfire event here, Saturday the 3rd, which isn't so long ago, which isn't so long off. 4 to 11. Well, yeah, I can expect delays to be possible. The 3rd of November. Do you know, if I'm not working it, I might actually, actually, do you know, I might just book that day off. Off work. Because I'd really like to go to it. And, uh get some footage well the weather's really nice <laughs> like I'm feeling really tired still from traveling um, I made the bad decision to have a bit to drink too much too much to drink before the the journey back so I was like practically holding we in <laughs> well no <laughs> I was practically needing the toilet um, for 100 miles, which was like an hour and a half, which as you're slowly looking at those numbers tick, it's like, come on, right, surely you must, you must like stop at a service, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're back in Elland and uh, on a walk. So the plan of action is I'm going to walk to Elland um, to go to Morrison's, get picked up there. Uh, come back home, help with all shopping, etc. Because we practically took everything with us and practically came back home to an empty shell uh, stuff of like any nothing. Uh, and then I'm gonna go down to the hairdressers, get this cut. I was debating on whether to get it cut or not before the holiday, and I chose not to get it cut. And it just was, it's just gone so thick now, so I actually genuinely do need to get this cut. And plus as well, we're doing, being back at work tomorrow. It's nice to get this cut, nice to get this nice and shaved, and look presentable for my five midnight shift, which I've never done before. I've done 5.11, I've done five till half one, but I've not done a five till midnight. So, uh it won't be too bad actually. It won't be too bad. Okay, so I'm on a bike ride. I'm not aiming to do as much cycling as yesterday. I did like 10 miles of cycling. Like going to Scaling Down Reservoir, around it, and then back. And I've just had a little telling off because like literally down there, there's like a there's this there's a, a woodland path which you can cycle on, you can just walk along it. And there's a, there's the river and there's a path beneath that, like on the side of it. And I've seen a lot of people cycle along it, like coming back and forth. So like, I'll just cycle along it. And the very first time I go along to cycle along it, there's a dog walker with like two dogs. And he said, what are you doing? I said, it's a cycle route. I said, you're not allowed to cycle it, says, says who? He said, well, you shouldn't really be cycling along here. So well, I've walked past it so many times, but I've never seen any, I've never, I've seen so many people cycle along it. And it's a great path for it. And he was just, he was about to get into full retard mode. So I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to argue because I'm just going to make him look even more stupid. So I just turned around, did a bit down there. And I'm going up this hill, which doesn't look much, but it is. It's a, it's a challenge. I've already cycled up Shaw Lane. Not fully, but I had to stop a few times. I would have cycled up that. It took me... It took 10 minutes to get from home to the top of Shaw Lane. I was like, wow, that's impressive. So I'm going to go up to the top of this now. Then just freewheel down to the bottom. Then maybe go along the viaduct way. Then come back home. Whew. Damn. I was thinking to myself, I regret... Shall I bring a jumper? Uh, yes and no. Because going up the hill, I'm getting warm, but then when you come down the hills, it's nice to get the fresh air, and then it gets cold and get the wind in the face, in your face, and then you're kind of glad you have it. Right, enough vlogging. See you soon. Gotta carry on. Well, I've made it to the top, <sighs> and that's where I've just come from. 
frightened, bitch. I just cycled all the way up here. I stopped once. So now, I'm gonna go down that way, which is all downhill. Oh, I think I'll just take a drink first. Where's my bottle? Oh, it's there. <laughs> I was thinking I could not find my water bottle. Ah, water's wow, so nice. Right. Time to have some fresh air in my face. So I had a little bit of a rest when I got home. I had a little bit of a rest. Then I'm back out again. I'm not going to have too long though. I was out for like 50-ish minutes. But one thing I do remember doing when I was on my bike, just to like help improve my balance and stability, was just be here. And like just go like doing that back and forth a few times. Not to the point where you get dizzy. Because you do that, you just get bucket. So uh, I might do a few bits on here, just like going around. Then I'll just carry on going that way. Yeah, good idea. 